Hey guys, welcome to my second YouTube video. So I'm just gonna show you guys a brief overview of what I like to do pre-workout, during my workout, and a little bit post-workout. So basically, we are going to go to Roman Empire today, which is a amazing gym in Houston. I have not tried it yet. It's supposed to have amazing leg machines. So we're gonna go there today and we're gonna check it out and I'm gonna film the highlights of my workout to show you guys kind of how I like to train, how intense I like to train. So we're gonna start out with pre-workout. So first thing in the morning, I'll show you guys what I'm taking. So first thing in the morning is vitamins. So, but this is my little Amazon pill case. And this has been an absolute lifesaver for me. So once a week on each of my reset day, I will fill up all these little squares with all my vitamins so that throughout the week, there's no excuse. They're all right there and they're all on my counter. So ready to be taken. So I can also go more in depth on what I take and why I take it, if you guys are interested in that. But moving on, one of my favorite, favorite habits I've developed and something that has genuinely worked so well for me is greens. So I used to absolutely hate greens. I thought they were disgusting. This is genuinely the only product that I've ever taken that has actually been enjoyable to take. This has done so much for my digestion. I am someone that gets very bloated all the time it feels like and this has helped so much so i'll take this in the morning before any food and it just gets my digestive tract going for the day you guys can also use code bella on anaka subs website if you guys want to try this out that's all i take in the morning and when it comes to food um i definitely have a staple meal that i turn to and that is 96 percent lean ground beef about three fourths to a cup of white rice a handful of spinach and corn not very creative when it comes to like cooking or anything like that but i found that this meal is what works for me and so basically i just eat that like two to three times a day so this is my favorite sauce ever so i tried so many sugar-free sauces and g hughes is a close runner up to this if you guys have tried that but this is my number one it's the raised no sugar added original barbecue sauce this has 15 calories for two tablespoons so it really is a cheat code and this is amazing i put this on my beef and rice every single day so definitely highly recommend that okay so let's talk about pre-workout so me personally i find that i get hyper fixated on certain um, products like if I really really like a product then I'll use that religiously until I get so tired of it that I can't have it anymore but my favorite supplement I want to say of all time has been the tropical storm mango from Anaka this is a pump product and I remember the first time I tried this I was I fell in love with it. This is so good. It tastes absolutely amazing. Workouts revolve around a very small amount of exercises. I usually only have usually like three to four exercises per workout session, but those exercises that I am doing are very, very intense and I'll do a good amount of sets. So I'm going to show you guys specifically my leg press routine and how I kind of go up and how I gauge my strength throughout the workout. So a lot of people like to incorporate more workouts and less sets, but this is just what I found that I like to do and what works for me. And I really like to focus on progressive overload. So focusing on um, compounds like leg press has really, really helped me because I can gauge the weight and um, make sure that I'm going up every single week. So that's just how I like to train. Also, just a random thing, this is the last time you guys are going to see my hair platinum. This was definitely a good phase that I went through, but look at the roots. I can't do it anymore. This looks so, these roots look absolutely horrendous. So I'm going to get some brown in there just to mix it up and look more natural. So Also, I just want to show you guys. This is me when I'm lazy. So usually I'll meal prep all my meals and put them in like these cute little glass containers, but I was lazy meal prepping this week. So I basically, 
This looks so crazy, but um, I basically will just like make a huge heaping pile of rice and mix in some corn and then just like take through this throughout the week. So this is my lazy meal prepping. This is not what you should do, but. So let's go pick out a cute gym outfit and go hit some legs. Eu fico de lado, tu joga dentro só cá com força vagabunda me deixa de chota. Cover. So on my ideal training day, I am coming home and having a nice bath. I have a amazing, amazing tub. This is one of the main reasons I chose this apartment. So you guys can see that I got some Mr. Teal's and some little candles. And I'll usually just light candles and have a bubble bath and the Mr. Teals is supposed to be super good for um, muscle recovery and kind of relaxing all the muscles after a training session. So that's what I ideally would do. But realistically, I usually just take a really, really good shower. I just make sure to take it easy for the rest of the day and let my muscles have some time to recover. And I get asked a lot um, how many leg days that I'm hitting a week. And usually I would say about two to three. So it's not an insane amount and I make sure to prioritize recovery. So if I'm feeling sore or if I'm feeling like I'm not gonna be able to push the weight that I want to, then I'll usually give myself an extra day. So that's how I like to kind of gauge where I'm at and how much I'm gonna hit it. But I always split it up into quads gluten hammies and then sometimes I'll do full legs and that's if I'm feeling really really good going going into a workout I'll usually decide just to do full legs so that's kind of what I personally do so after my training I'm gonna get in at least two meals and make sure that I'm getting all my protein in for the day and get that locked in thank you guys so so much for watching like and subscribe for more content and I'll see you guys in the next video.